Hey guys, welcome back to Darkest Nightmare. So Halloween is over and the haunt is finished. Um, so today I'm just gonna do a behind the scenes walkthrough of the haunt. I already uploaded the full walkthrough so you can go watch those. Um, but this time it's gonna be like lights on and I'm just gonna be talking about everything. So yeah, um, let's just go in. All right, so this is the first scene in the haunt. Uh, just kind of a table here. Um, really simple actually I've kept this the same scene basically every year I've done this haunt so yeah we just got a few props here and just stacked up some Harry Potter books so I don't know it just kind of gives a little opener um, and then I put this curtain here I have a lot of curtains in this haunt basically um, everything's made out of PVC pipe and so we could just run a PVC pipe over and just quickly put some curtains on so just kind of add the divider into the haunt and um yeah so this is the main scene the first one i guess um uh let's see so yeah it, it's pretty simple actually we just got a zombie right here and a table now this tv is usually playing a video um that's like a YouTube kind of EAS uh, broadcast thing. Uh, it kind of looks scary and it makes some noises too. So it actually looks really cool in this scene when it's all dark, especially with this light, which is just uh, a spinning red light. I don't even know what they're called. Some sort of like a hazard light. Just got that off of Amazon. And then this backdrop is just uh, from a Halloween store. I got it a couple years ago and it's held up just fine, so. Uh, yeah. So, this is just a uh, fuse box, a fuse box from um, Spirit Halloween. Got it a few years ago. And what I wanted to do was have a step pad here, but I kind of wired it wrong, so it's not really working. Maybe next year I'll be able to get that to work. Um, all we have is just a little strobe light down there that's shining on it. All right, so now coming into this scene, another curtain here, um, again, which is the PVC pipe. So in here is this PVC pipe prop that I made. Uh, I made it last year, really simple, just has a mask. And as you can see, um, it's made out of PVC pipes and some chicken wire. So that's really cool. Uh, we have a purple light up there that actually makes it look really cool uh, it, like reflects off of all the red and yeah so uh, into the next scene um, it's like the tunnel again another curtain just to divide everything up so in this scene it's gonna be a little bit hard to see on the camera but we just have a bunch of sheets hanging down and this is the only scene that's like covered um, yeah we just have a strobe light going and just really simple, just put a bunch of curtains down. They're hanging on wooden beams up above. Um, actually, sometimes, I think it happened twice on Halloween, people would maybe get caught on these and they're actually really easy to pull down. Actually, I'll just do it right now because they're not really fastened. So sometimes I would find these like in the driveway or something. So maybe next year I would uh, staple those up. Um, all right, next scene is kind of like the dungeon scene. Really, nothing really flows in this haunt, but um, it looks really cool. So the first prop in here is uh, this hanging skeleton prop. Um, really simple. And then we just have a light. Uh, it's actually a flashlight that we just taped up and shine down on this guy. So all these hanging props I just put up with some twine and they just go up to those beams on the top, on the roof. So, really simple actually. Um, yeah, so there's some cobwebs as well. In here is where we have the sparking fence. Uh, I actually took that one down uh, after Halloween, uh, just cause I didn't want it to fall, but there's usually a chain link fence right there. Um, and I also did a demo of that, the sparking fence. You can see it on the full walkthroughs and the demo video that I did. So, yeah. All right here, I just have a beam with a strobe light that shines on that. 
and then some shamed. Um, in here, I got this corpse. I did like that. I think I did like, I think I did that uh, like three years ago or something. Um, yeah, and then just some spider webs and a blue light on this guy. So this scene actually looks really cool, um, especially with the strobe light on the fence. Pretty, it gives a really eerie effect. So if you guys want to see uh, the whole thing with all the lights off. I did upload those walkthroughs on Halloween. Actually, I uploaded them yesterday, so you can guys, you guys can go watch those as well. All right, so coming into this scene, I have this guy. He's just hanging out on a beam, um, and I made him two or three years ago, I think. He's, uh, I mean, he's held up pretty well, um, but the thing that is basically holding up is just a piece of wood. I really need to fix that. Um, doesn't really look that good, but you can't really notice it in the dark, so it's fine. And then this guy, this is just a prop from Target. Actually, he's probably like the oldest prop in here, like four or five years old, but it still looks pretty good, especially with this light. This is a Spirit Halloween light, um, just a flickering bulb. It goes on and then flickers and then turns off. So I just have that on the uh, extension cord that runs up. Everything that's uh, like in the middle of the scene is basically on these beams, which is really helpful. And then, yeah, it's so coming out. We got the last prop here. Um, again, just hanging up with twine. And I also have this like disco light kind of a thing. It uh, has orange, purple, and green. This kind of swirls around. Um, actually, gives a pretty nice effect. And it also reflects on the last curtain here. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the behind the scenes inside. Now we can go look at the opposite side of the haunt too. As you can see, behind the sparking fence, I made a, uh, a backdrop, I guess, for the sparking fence. So no one can see the behind the, the garage. So that's just something. And then this is all the electronics for the sparking fence. They're just kind of thrown back there. We also have a smoke machine and other extension cords. Right here is just the sound system and the light. This is also what I use to hang up the fuse box. As you can see, there's just a nut and bolt on the back of that um, that hang it up. So yeah, I'd say that's about it for what we have. It looks really cool. If you haven't seen the full walkthroughs with all the lights and the actors, I would go check that out because it looks a lot better in the dark. So yeah, uh, that's about it for the behind the scenes tour, guys. So I guess this is gonna end the haunt. I'm gonna probably take this down today or tomorrow. Um, so yeah, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.